Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Chemistry Tutor. In this lesson, we're going to take what we learned in the last section, the fundamental ideas of the kinetic molecular theory of gases, and we're going to solve a few quick problems here. Now, one of the most interesting things that falls out of the gas theory, the kinetic theory, is that we can calculate kind of a representative speed for the, for the gas molecules. And we call that the RMS speed, root mean squared. And in the last section, we kind of talked about why it's called root mean squared and where it comes from. Uh, and so in this lesson, we're going to get some practice calculating the RMS speed of different gases and give you an idea of, number one, how to do the calculation, and number two, what can we learn from performing some of these calculations? What kind of um, feeling can we get for how different gases might behave at different temperatures? So the first thing to note uh, is something that we learned in the last section. So I'll just say, recall that the velocity, RMS, root mean squared, that just has to do with the fact that basically we have uh, the squared velocity. We take the mean of it, and then we take the square root of that guy. Uh, and when you think about it, the, the speed is in meters per second, or the velocity is in meters per second. When we square that, we get parentheses, meters per second, all squared, okay? Then when we take the square root, we get back meters per second. So because we're squaring the speed and doing the averaging and then we take the square root, the units that we get from this calculation at the end of the day is going to be back to meters per second because here we're squaring the speed and then here we're taking the square root of that guy. So the units we get is what we expect, which is meters per second. And we said that this uh, equation actually turns out with, with some derivation to be 3RT over capital M, which is the molar mass. And the number one thing or the two things that we need to know about how to use this guy is the molar mass needs to be in kilograms per mole because kilogram is the base unit in SI. And the universal gas constants that we will use here is going to be uh, is 8.31451 joules per mole Kelvin because it has that unit of energy and that's how this guy was derived all dealing with energy. So we need to use the correct gas constant and we need to make sure and use kilograms per mole for that guy. So a couple of quick um, uh, uh, general ideas we want to write before we go off and solve any problems. I'm going to write a couple of notes. For a given gas that has a, a mass or a molar mass, capital M, okay, if we increase the temperature of the gas, then it means that the RMS speed of the gas increases. And that's basically saying here is the speed of the molecular speed of the gas there, the individual molecules on average, is given by this relation here. If we have a given gas or two different gases, let's say, uh, at the same mass, so we hold everything constant, the three is a constant, the R is a constant, and we, can, we hold M constant. If we increase the temperature, right, then you can see how it's on the numerator. It's going to drive everything in here up. Even though we're taking a square root, everything is still going up. So an increase in temperature leads to an increase in the RMS speed. That makes sense because we keep saying that the kinetic, the average kinetic energy of the gas molecules is related to the temperature directly. If we increase the temperature, we expect that the average speed should increase because that's the kind of the whole point, which would, as we know, lead to an increase in pressure if we have a, a finite vessel because of all the extra pushing that these gas molecules are doing. All right, so that's the first thing I want to point out. The second thing I want to point out is for two gases, um, at the same temperature, same temperature T, the lower mass gas is faster 